hello guys welcome to JD bots so in this video we will learn how to create a UI flow and automate our web application okay let's dive into it log into flow.microsoft.com go to my flows create a new flow and here we'll be selecting UI flow bl from blank since we'll be automating our web application so we'll be selecting the selenium IDE in another video we'll be seeing how to automate the desktop application using Windows recorder for this context we'll select the Selen selenium IDE and next I'll provide the name as temperature flow what we'll do is we'll launch the Google and we'll get the temperature of any city let's assume we'll have to get the temperature of New York City so this flow will get us that and the base URL I'll give it as google.com for the first time users if you click on the launch recorder button then a dialog box will appear for you to download the UI power automate UI flow software onto your computer so that will add an extension to your browser so once you download that and install it on your desktop then these two extensions will be added to your browser so this UI flow will work on your Google Chrome as well as Microsoft Edge so I'll launch the recorder since I have already installed the extension that is why this window appears to me okay once the selenium ID is launched you see a recording button over here click on that so it will lead us to the base URL and you see selenium IDE is recording I make the I click on the maximize then I give the my query that is New York temperature and I click on enter since whatever actions I am doing the selenium ID is all recording it can be anything any key press double click right click anything so we need to store this value 69 correct I right click on that selenium ID I click on store and text once you click on text you'll see to give the name of the variable so the whatever value is present that is 69 degree Fahrenheit or Celsius that will be stored into this variable so I'll provide the variable as temperature and I click on OK and finally I'll stop recording since we got the temperature of New York City right okay now let's edit our actions whatever we did it opened the Google Chrome and it went to this base URL google.com then I clicked on maximize window so it set the window size for me then I clicked on to type the my query that is New York temperature then I had clicked on enter so it has recorded as key enter and uh, finally I am storing the text okay temperature so in between this action since uh, these are not useful for me I will just delete this okay and now I'll select the type option 
I'll rename this because this has to be a generic value. This should not be always New York temperature, right? It can be anything. It can be Sydney, it can be New Delhi, it can be Mumbai, any city's temperature you can ask. Okay? So, I'll have to define a variable. I'll use this city name. This is my variable. That will be input for my UI flow. So the city name, I have to give it beforehand while running this flow. I will have to provide it before only, this variable city name. And it will concatenate with the temperature. So whatever city name I provide, it will concatenate with the temperature and it will send the value. Okay. And finally, it will store the text, whatever the temperature is, it will store in the variable temperature. Fine. Let us save this one. Save project. And go to your My Flows and click on UI Flow. There you see temperature flow. So now, we'll be using this flow in our automated flow. We'll be using the UI flow in our automated flow. Uh, let's say, okay, I think for this demonstration purpose, let us ma trigger it manually. Okay. Mm, temperature flow and I'll use the trigger as manual trigger. Manual means I have to click on the run button only then only this flow will be triggered. You can have the any other trigger actions as well. I'll add an action and the action will be UI flow. So you click on UI flows and you have the two options selenium id and windows recorder since we have done the web automation using selenium id we will be selecting this option and you need to select the ui flow which you created from the drop down and which is for us is temperature flow and the web browser you want to run this flow in will be my google chrome and the run mode attended and unattended so currently we are already logged into our application right so i'll be using unattended i'll be using attended if you are logged in and if you select unattended and if you try to run your flow then it will throw an error throw an error saying that user session is already logged in and it cannot log in again yeah so I'll be using the attended one and see here it is asking for us the city name so let us try first New York City only and then we'll try the different city mm, New York fine I'll save this flow and I'll test it since this is a manual trigger I'll perform the trigger action and let's continue and run the flow the flow is running it has opened the Google browser and it has typed the New York temperature and it has closed the browser as well. And after finishing it, it has executed successfully. Let us check the input and output both. We had given the New York and you see the city name is New York and the temperature it has found is 69 degree. So let's say uh, what is the temperature in Mumbai 
and let me run this again. Hmm, cool, right? We have the temperature for Mumbai city seventy nine. Yeah. So this flow can be extended using your Excel sheet. You can provide the inputs from your Excel sheet, and it can be like hundreds of input. So you can run in a flow. You can run in a loop so that each city will get its temperature, and you can again store the temperature in your excel sheet as an output cool right well this is useful for those who are fed up in writing the selenium scripts yeah i know this is not that much efficient than using your own selenium script in java or C sharp or Python, whichever language you use to write the Selenium scripts, but for the common task, this is the most easiest and fastest way. Yeah. Okay, guys. See you in the next video where we'll create the UI flow using the Windows Recorder. Fine. See you then. Thank you.